Good morning, everybody. And yeah, it is morning. It does look a little bit dark out here. I'll admit, I'm surprised somebody's flying in this. This, uh, I'll just have to say before we start filming, uh, thank you to all of the firefighters and law enforcement, everybody that's helping out. Uh, we had, well, we have uh, a fire fairly close uh, here. It's in the Grass Valley area, you might say. Um, and uh, that's, can you even see it? I'm gonna move the camera up into the sky. And, cause there's, I don't think you can even see it on camera. The sun is right, oh, there it is. That's the sun right there. That little, now to point and look at, there, that's it. That's all we can we can see of the sun today. So that's why it's a little bit dark and hazy looking. That's actually smoke. So we're gonna get this review done and uh, get back inside. So uh, good morning to Dennis Maddox. All right. See my computer's like, oh, we want to restart. No, you are not restarting right now. All right. So this is the Derwin Seeker step through. So brand new bike from a brand new company that I had never heard of <laughs> until they reached out to me. Uh, it seems like as usual, there's always new e-bike companies popping up all the time. Now, before I get into the review, uh, there's one little update I wanna mention for the Snap Cycle bike from last week. Well, two things I should say about the Snap Cycle. One is that giveaway is ending shortly or soon or did the giveaway is ending very very soon if it didn't already so uh, congratulations to whoever's going to win that bike uh now one of the things about the snap cycle bike from last week uh that i felt like needed improving was the power of the motor and i haven't tried it yet but they have responded and let me know that there is a way to adjust the amps on the controller so i need to go into the settings check that so it's possible the snap cycle bike from last week has more power in it. We'll test that and I'll report back when that happens. So this again is the Derwin Seeker step through. So they have two different models. One's a step through, one isn't. Otherwise they look basically the same. Now at first glance, this bike might look really familiar to some of you. And that's not it. <laughs> there, there's another brand of e-bike that if you look at just the frame at first glance, it looks identical. If it wasn't for the name, you would, you would think it was something else. Uh, but this is the Derwin bike. This is not another brand that looks very similar. And it isn't the same bike. There are a couple of differences. The battery, uh is a uh style that's similar to like our fox bats and sabers and broncos uh, and some other brands of bikes so uh, it's a 48 volt 14 amp hour battery uh, and then the controller is mounted in a different position than the other bike i was thinking of and also the display now if you get outside of that handlebars forks tires wheels it looks really similar to some of uh, the other brands of e-bikes on the market. So very clean looking bike. And thank you, Wendy, for joining the channel. Yay. Everybody say hi to Wendy <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, we always like having new members on the YouTube channel. Awesome. And feel free to ask if you have any questions, Wendy. Just post it right in the chat there and we'll try and answer them live on the video. Now. The bike is $18.99. It's a, like I said, a 48 volt, 16 amp hour battery, 750 watt motor, and it has hydraulic brakes, which is pretty nice. So we're getting just a step above, you know, some of the other bikes that used to be that $1,500, $1,600 range. Uh, so this is kind of, I guess it's probably like a competitor to the Rad Rover 6 that just came out because they updated it to hydraulic brakes, uh, except this one has a bigger battery. Uh, it also comes with 
the rear rack, uh, which some bikes do in this price range. Rad Power, I don't believe, does on the new Rad Rover 6. If you're comparing to that model, I'm sure it's going to be coming up. I haven't seen one of those in person, so unfortunately, I can't any answer any questions about that bike yet. Hopefully, we'll get one uh, in our hands soon. But yeah, it's basically a very clean looking bike, nice paint job. It's, uh, I'm looking to see if there's any like pearl in it. There might be, but if there is, I can't see it because it's too dark outside. <laughs> but I don't think there is. I think it's just a very glossy white color. Um, and yeah, a very standard upright position. The, it doesn't have an adjustable stem, but the handlebars have a pretty good rise to them. Now, ride-wise, I haven't ridden it. But you might be thinking, why not? Uh, <laughs> two reasons. Every once in a while, I like to ride the bike for the very first time on camera, so you know what my real reaction is to getting on the bike. Uh, second reason is, I didn't actually start putting the bike together until after eight o'clock this morning. So at eight o'clock a.m., about an hour ago, this was still in the box. So that shows you how fresh the bike is, how new the bike is. So uh, these are all my first impressions. Thankfully, the assembly went pretty smooth. It was really easy to get everything together. Just standard bike stuff. You got to put the front tire on, the fender, front headlight, and put the handlebars onto the stem. And that was, uh, that was it. Everything seems like it was adjusted and tightened up other than that. Didn't even have to put the rear rack on, uh, which is nice. So there may be some things I have to stop and adjust live in the video if I go write it, possibly. <laughs> I probably will do a, a triple check and make sure everything's tightened down before we do that. Let's check some of the other comments. Oh, everybody's just saying hi to Wendy. <laughs> awesome. Wendy says, cool. Thanks again. All right. So if you guys have, again, any questions about the bike, Derwin, brand new company. Um, I'm checking their website right now behind the camera. Uh, 26 by 4 inch fat tires. Again, 750 watt motor. It's an aluminum frame and Shimano seven speed. Uh, the screen is something different. I haven't seen this particular display before. I don't recognize it. Uh, it looks pretty clean. We'll check out that in just a second here. Uh, they say the bike's 74.9 pounds. So pretty hefty bike at 75 pounds. Uh, weight capacity, they say it's 350 pounds. Uh, recommended rider height, mm, they say 5'3 to 6'4. Uh, it's still a big bike. I would say 5'3 is going to be too short. I, I would go a little bit taller with that. 6'4, you're probably going to feel a little small, but <laughs> the sweet spot is somewhere uh, in the middle of there. And oh, there we go. 24 month warranty. So they're saying two year warranty and. Yeah, I mean, their website's very clean. Everything looks pretty good from what I see on here. Let's see. <laughs> One ought not ride a bike until it's been put together. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fair enough. So, yeah, let's give it a, a close-up look here. I'm going to bring the bike closer to the camera. So you can see the display. There we go. All right, so here's the nice color display. Derwin. Let's get this little screen protector off here. Look at this. Very nice. All right. So, like I said, very clean looking display, really easy to read. Uh, I don't know what it looks like in full sun because we just have, we just have that little dot up there, right there. So interesting to see just a little red speck. Don't stare into the sun, even if it's, they're smoky, that's bad. All right, 
So when you turn it on, you basically have everything on one display. Battery percentage, speed, trip meter, odometer, wattage, pedal assist setting. It's kind of interesting. So if you go down, pedal zero, and then it says off, which I haven't actually tested to see if the throttle works when the pedal assist is off. Let's find out. Nope, no throttle when the pedal assist is off. Okay, now if we go to one, it changes both pedal assist to one and it says eco right here. And then two, low, normal, high, power. And this kind of changes colors as you can see as you go up. So you got off white, green, then you got yellow, a little darker yellow, starting to turn orange, and then orange for power. Just a subtle change, but kind of cool. Nice looking little display. And let's see how good I am at operating not only a bike, but a camera at the same time. Probably not very good. All right. So if we give it some throttle, there we go. That's what it, ooh, that's fancy. I hope you guys can see this and there's not too much of a glare. I think I'm gonna move just to make sure. Let me know, is there a glare on the screen right now when you guys are looking at it? We're gonna, we're gonna figure out where it's not because I want you to see this display. It's really cool. Let's see. Similar to Hemiway Step Through, Bill. Yes, that's what it looks similar to. Really similar. Uh, Hemiway has a slightly bigger battery, but has mechanical brakes instead of hydraulic brakes. So uh, subtle differences, but there are differences. And Jessica, such a cool giveaway. I know that's you because it's not me. Isn't that a nice t-shirt? Yes, you guys should buy one of these uh, t-shirts on boltonebikes.com. Okay, back to our display here. There we go. That looks much clearer. Okay. There we go. See, if we push the button here, we just have our up and down right here. Then you've got pedal assist off, one or eco, two is low, three is normal, four is high, five is power. And this was so cool. I was not expecting this. All right. I got to tilt the bike with one hand, use the throttle with the same hand and operate the camera with the second hand. We're going to make this work though. So if we turn the throttle on, watch this. See the little bar starts to go up. And then, whoa, at some point it changes and you get your speed on there really big. Never seen a display do that. I don't know if that's really practical, but it looks cool. And then as you let go, Oh, I want it. it's not power related. So my hand is off the throttle now, not using the throttle at all. And it's still on this display mode. Let's see what happens as it slows down here. I want to see how this thing works. At some point, I'm assuming it's going to go back to that other screen and it must be speed. There we go. So around like nine miles an hour, it looks like. All right, now I'm putting a little throttle in. A we're going to figure this out for sure. Yeah. So about nine miles an hour, maybe that's like close to 10 kilometers an hour. Then the display changes to this. I don't know why. Uh, the only thing I could see potentially annoying with that is that now you can't see your uh, trip meter and odometer and everything else. Oh, that's interesting. So see the colors changing. That's me changing the assist levels. So if you're going more than 10 miles an hour, yeah, let's get it back into eco. All right, crank the power up. So if you're going more than 10 miles an hour, you don't have a pedal assist number on the screen anymore. You only have the color. So this is eco. That's uh, pedal assist two, pedal assist three, four, and five. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let me know what you guys think about that. This display is fancy enough. There might be some other options here uh, as far as display settings, but the default, and now that it goes, so under 10 miles an hour, but if you're going faster than 10 miles an hour, you only have speed 
and battery percentage. And technically you have pedal assist, but it's just a faint difference in color and you don't have a number. I don't know if I like that because one, if you're colorblind, they're really close in color. I don't know how well you'd be able to see the difference between those. Uh, and honestly, just being able to see it out in the daytime, they're really similar color. I don't know if I could tell you which pedal assist I was on in the middle ranges just by looking at the color. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check your comments over here. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Bart, is this, is this comment right here because you like how the display looks? Uh, you've got like, you know, little heart eyes. Uh, Ted, everybody say hi to our newest member, Ted. Look at this, Wendy's already got this down. She said, hi, Ted. I don't know who you are, Wendy, but thank you for your interaction. <laughs> Good morning. I think I still like the pedal assist info as well as volts and speed. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I would rather have everything on there. Um, this might be require some further investigation to figure this out. I'm thinking maybe if we hold down both up and ooh, fancy. Okay. So we're going to exit settings. So if you hold the up and down arrows, pretty normal. You get this. Why isn't it doing it? Okay, let's try that again. Hold up and down arrows. Well, I don't know what I did differently now. All right, let's try turning it off and back on. I got into the settings a second ago by holding those two buttons. There we go. Okay, wheel size setting. Let's make oh we need a password i don't know the password for this bike i also don't know how to get out of the password area derwin what's the password let's try this again hmm i feel like Maybe you have to hit the buttons exactly the same time. Speed limit setting. What do you bet that takes a password? Yep. Maybe we hold these two buttons to get out of the password menu thingy. See, I'm learning as I go, guys. This is what it's really like. Don't feel silly about asking questions when you get your bike because I'm sure this is what it's like for everybody when they get their new bike. So it looks like, please let me adjust the backlight without a password. Aha, light level. It's only one, two, three. But hey, that's something we can adjust. Okay, unit setting, miles an hour, kilometers an hour. About powered by, oh, it's a king meter display. That's nice that they tell you the uh, version of the display and everything on the display itself. Exit setting. Hmm. May not be a whole lot we can change on this display. So I have mixed feelings about it. Uh, I think it looks amazing. This is one of the clearest color displays. I think I've ever seen, but it's a little weird because after 10 miles an hour, you can't see half the settings. Maybe they're trying to do that as like a safety thing. Like they don't want you looking at the detailed stuff while you're riding more than 10 miles an hour. I, I don't know. I mean, it does give you the important stuff really big, battery and your speed. Uh, but I would like to see odometer mileage, stuff like that while I'm riding uh, sometimes. So. Oh, not a huge deal, not a deal breaker, uh, just something to be aware of that's a little bit different. I really like it. I uh, wish there was a way to adjust it so you could still see, see some of the other stuff. Um, but it does look really cool. So not disappointed with the display. It is better than what comes on most bikes. Uh, it is missing battery voltage uh, because it says percentage. I would think it could, but I don't see that. Uh, 
Tom says, I wonder if you can turn that feature off. Which feature are you referring to? Uh, let me know. Oh, we got. All right. Bill is saying 0000. Is everybody just guessing on, uh, on passwords? Oh, Michael says password not in their FAQs. You know what? The bike does have a manual. So let's open it up. Let's find out what we got. And while we're at it, I have to show you what else came with the bike so you know exactly what's included. Why is my camera all wonky all of a sudden? Whatever. Uh, it did come with a little multi-tool right here. Set that aside. Uh, as somebody pointed out, it looks really similar to, let's see. Oh, Tom's question was the screen changing at 10 miles an hour. I don't see a way to, to do that. Um, oh yeah, somebody mentioned that this bike is really similar to the Hemiway. I mean, that's the first thing I thought of. It's definitely not the same bike. It's a different frame. So don't think it's the same exact bike with a different name on it. Could it have come from the same factory? Probably. <laughs> um, especially because of this. Hemiway sends hats with all their bikes. Check this out. A Derwin hat. What are the odds? And here is the manual, aka instrument specification. Hmm. And there's a charger in this box. Uh, no, so no surprises. Well, I shouldn't say no surprises there. I haven't actually opened the charger box. Clearly. Let's find out. Mm, nope, looks like a charger. All right. Nothing <laughs> out of the ordinary whatsoever. Uh, let's uh, let's check the manual. Yes, Michael. When all else fails, read the manual. I try and avoid that at all costs because I don't know. I just do. <laughs> You might learn something if you read the manual. Here we go. Ooh, it does mostly talk about the display. It says press and hold the power button to turn on. Two, ooh, two kinds of display interfaces. Ooh, okay guys. I'm glad we read the manual here. We have two kinds of display interfaces. Normal display interface, which is what you guys just saw and data statistics interface. Everybody say, ah. Okay, so we have to long press the up arrow and the M button to switch from normal to in display, what do they call this? Data statistics interface. I think they could have come up with an easier name. Long press M to switch from data to normal. That's a little weird, okay. Let's try it. Maximum statistical time range of linear statistical chart is three hours, and the timing again will start after three hours. This is kind of crazy. All right, up arrow and the M button. You guys are seeing this with me for the first time. I've never seen this on a bike. That's the M button right there. That's the up button right there. We're gonna hold them at the same time. There we go. Well, it doesn't look as fancy as it does in the manual um, <laughs> because I haven't ridden it. So it has time, miles, current speed, max speed, average speed. So here it has miles an hour and here it has minutes. So it actually gives you a graph as you start writing. Let me show you what it looks like in the manual. All right. Michael Horton says, try 2962 for password. Are you finding that online or is uh, that the pin code for your credit card, debit card? All right, there's what the screen looks like because we haven't ridden. Here's what the manual shows. So you can see it's got like this fancy little chart that it does. I don't know what that's actually really good for, um, but it does that. Now, in the rest of the manual, it goes into wheel diameters. It tells you how to change it. It tells you how to change the units. Um, but it doesn't say what the password is. Speed limit setting. It tells you how to change the speed limit setting, the wheel size, 
uh, and everything, but they do not give you the password in the manual. So, well, I'm sure that's something we can find or we can get from them. Uh, but this, yeah, this is kind of cool. I'm liking this display a little more. Let's put it on the kickstand and see what this looks like. What? No. Oh, I'm disappointed now. I assumed the statistic mode is something that you could look at while riding and it was an alternate display. It's not. As soon as you hit the throttle, it changes back to the other display. So close. Uh, oh, Michael says default for some King displays. 2962. Let's try it. 2962. Let's see what happens. If this works, Michael gets a free hat. If it doesn't work, uh, nice try. <laughs> Speed limit setting. We always like to change that. <laughs> uh, now I got to read that again. 2962. All right. Two. Nine. Six. Two. I'm not actually sure what I do after this to input it. I'm guessing you press the power button and nothing can happen. So I don't think that was it because it just went back to password. It was worth a shot. Thanks for trying. Any idea how many digits in the password? No, no idea whatsoever. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Display is really cool looking. Uh, maybe not as functional as some of the others that I've seen, but it does look really cool. Um, I mean, I did say it's one of the clearest displays I've ever seen. Uh, that's true. The KT color displays that I use on the Blackbird uh, probably look about the same clarity wise, but they give you all the information you need whenever you want it. So slight edge to those. Sorry, King meter. You do make some cool stuff, but uh, the fact that the setting can't be changed much, you know, is a little bit, just a little bit of a bummer. Uh, so now it's time to, why is this tilted again? Now it's time to ride the, the bike. I hope you guys appreciate after watching my live videos, how much work goes into editing the regular ones. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's test this thing out. So I, I guess my first impressions are on the bike before I get on it and ride it, uh, standard shifter, standard stuff, seven speed, no complaints there. Uh, don't know what brand the motor is, you know, don't really care as long as it performs well. Yeah, it looks just fine. It looks plenty stout enough. Um, I'm looking around here because for a second, I was like, where's the motor cable? Yeah, it comes out in a different spot than uh, some of the other motors. Axle nuts are at least tight enough. I can't move it with my hand. That's a good sign. I put the quick release on, so I know that's good. Battery's firmly locked in place. I put the pedals on. Cranks are on. Let's give it a quick check through the gears. Bonus points for Derwin if the derailleur is shifting correctly out of the box. Let's try that one more time. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear, seventh, back to sixth, fifth, fourth, three, two, one. Pretty good. Maybe not perfect, but pretty darn close. So I'm going to say that's adjusted. Uh, and the brakes, the brakes feel a little soft. Definitely, you want to break these pads in correctly uh, when you go ride this bike for the first time. Um, they could be a little bit better, but that's probably just a matter of them needing to, to break in. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Let's turn on our fancy display. Pop the seat height up to where I think will be a better height for me. And let's ride it. 
So I haven't removed the speed limit. Don't know what it's exactly set at. I do not see any class stickers on the bike. So I would probably have to check their website. I'm gonna assume they call it a class two, which means a 20 mile an hour limit, which we know we can change from the display if we get the password. So I'm sure we can request that from, from Derwin if needed. It's a step through bike, so let's step through. Perfect. And then uh, give it a spin. Oh, okay, so that is eco mode. <laughs> it takes off. I'm gonna say that my experience is that some people are not gonna like eco mode and think that it has too much power. I see a comment. What motor and battery size? Motor, 750. I think it's feeling pretty good so far. Battery, 48 volt, 14 amp hour. And do you think you should lube the seat post on new bikes? No. All right. Pedal assist two. More power. Three, four, let's just crank it all the way up to five. All right, I know I'm getting further away here, but I gotta test it up a little bit of a hill. That's full power, saying 900 watts. That's so weird to have the display jumping back and forth like that. I wish I had a mobile camera where you guys could see the display while I'm riding, but you kind of know what it looks like. All right, here's full power. Brakes. So brakes need a little breaking in, uh, but they work just fine. Yeah, it's interesting. It takes off really fast in number one, and then it doesn't feel that much faster in the other settings. So one's a little too powerful, and then the rest are just a slight increase from there. Dana, new member, awesome. Everybody say it, you know the drill. I don't even need to say it. You know the drill. Welcome, Dana. So, the verdict. What do you guys think? Did it look like a powerful 750 watt motor? Do you think it's comparable to the Hemiway? Do you think it's like a Rad Rover? Do you think it's crazy fast like a Blackbird? Tell me what you think. I wanna see what your opinion is from seeing me ride it for the first time. I know what I think, um, but I'm curious to see if you guys can tell on camera when I start pedaling and the bike takes off, how does it look and how does it appear? And, and keep in mind, the battery was at 60 some percent. Uh, Bill asking if I have it in eco mode. Uh, right at first I did, which is, eco is the same as pedal assist one. And then I did crank it up to two, three, four, five, uh, use the throttle. Uh, I tested everything out. I went up the little hill just to see how well it would start taking off. Uh, the screen showed 900 watts uh, at the time when I was going up the hill. And you know what, let's try that one more time while you guys are thinking about that. Bill says sounds like a Hemiway motor. Let me see if there's a difference in the peak power when it very first takes off. Battery's at 63%. All right, let's go. 905. Okay, it will not let it go past 905 watts. Uh, it takes off pretty decent. So, I guess here's uh, here's the verdict. Uh, Bart says sounds powerful. Uh, looks like an e-bike that has a colorful display, no special features. Um, so here's, here's my thought. Uh, quality of the bike looks good. I didn't see any problems with it. Uh, basic components all around. 
four hydraulic brakes, uh, fancy looking display. Uh, the motor feels like a good 750 watt motor. It's got plenty of power. Uh, it takes off a lot quicker than, you know, a rad power style bike. I know there's been some other brands that are, you know, kind of in that range. Uh, not as fast as something, you know, cranked up way on the power like a Blackbird. But obviously we do things a little bit crazy here. And that bike also costs a lot more money. Um, first thought was Hemiway also. Yeah, so the Hemiway had a good 750 watt motor. Uh, same price range. Very comparable uh in many ways uh i kind of like this one maybe a little better uh i i haven't checked the hemiway prices how much they've bumped up the prices i think this one is a little bit more uh, i think once the brakes the pads break in it's going to break really nicely and this would be a great bike uh battery capacity 48 volt 16 amp hour a little better than some of the competition about about what i would expect for the price bonus points for me is the fact that the battery is a generic battery we can go buy another battery that's a 21 amp hour and slap it on this bike if we want more range even if derwin never offers it uh, there should be some batteries uh, in fact why don't we check that right now I'm going to, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pull the keys off and look at the battery and see if it looks compatible, uh, with like our Fox bat Saber batteries, because if it is, then that would be, that would be a reason I would buy this over something else personally. And yeah, looks like exactly the same mounts looks like the same plug, I believe. I think that would work. So I'd have to go pop one on here for sure to be 100%, um, but I'm 90% sure that that would work based on what I see right there. Uh, so I like it. Uh, I think uh, I think they put together a nice, a nice bike here. Uh, if you're not planning on modifying anything too crazy as far as power or anything, and you just want more range, this will get the job done. Uh, basic bike. Um, has everything you need. Uh, display, I'm torn because I like the look, it's so clean, uh, but I wish I could see some of the features on there a little bit better. So uh, the display, I'm gonna not knock down any points, so to speak, on that theoretically, because it has some things that would bring it up, and some things that bring it down, so right in the middle, uh, in my opinion. So I think, uh, I think the challenge Derwin might have is like many other e-bike companies. It looks just like a lot of other e-bikes. It doesn't really stand out. Maybe if they made a crazy color, or I don't know, did something to make it pop a little more compared to the competition, uh, they could do really well with it. As it is, um, it's a good bike. Uh, as far as customer service, all that goes, again, brand new company. I don't know what that's going to be like long term. Uh, they say... 24 month warranty. So uh, Wendy says looks like a good value. And uh, I would agree with that. Bill says the smoke you smell is not the motor burning. Definitely uh, not. I definitely can smell the smoke. Um, thanks for the honest assessment. Like to have a little more powerful battery for more range. That'd be dif different from most others on the market. Yeah, if they just went like with a 21 amp hour battery and just made it like all right, it's better than everybody else. Um, you know, and it's 1999. I think they would sell even more of them than what they will with it is. But as it is, good bike, good price. Uh, no, no complaints. What is this? What is this? This is not me. Jessica, she must be the one commenting in the background. I have something awesome to share. Maybe it's a password. <laughs> Tom, what is the four bolts on the front for a basket? Uh, yes, I haven't checked to see if they have a basket available. Maybe that's something they're going to offer. Let's check it out. Components. I'm on their website right now. They have parts and pieces available. Um, no front rack. So they don't have one listed, but, but the answer is yes, that's, that's what it's for. Oh, it's not the password. Who wants to enter to win an e-bike? I would assume everybody that's watching wants to win an e-bike. 
Uh, I'm guessing Jessica is referring to this one right here because we want to give it away because that's what we do sometimes is we just give away bikes just for the fun of it. And we got a thumbs up. Me want me. BoltonEbikes.com slash pages slash ebike dash giveaway. If you are new to our giveaways, let me explain how this works. You go to BoltonEbikes.com slash pages slash, I'm actually typing it in right now as I talk, ebike, ebike. You can just, if you're on a computer, you don't have to type it in, just, just click the link, but I'm reading it. Hit giveaway. Da, 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 da. Okay, and that takes you to, let me see if I can share my screen. Share screen. Bum, bum, bum. E-bike giveaway. Check this out. Here we go. That takes you to this page right here. E-bike giveaway. Congratulations to previous winners. Here are just a few of the electric bikes we've given away. And yeah, that list is out of date. That's not all of them, but that's a few of them. And ta-da, Derwin Seeker Step Through E-Bike Giveaway. Time left, six days, 23 hours. So one week from now, we will know who the winner of this bike is. I think whoever wins this, you're going to be really happy with it. Uh, you just enter either your email uh, or you can use Facebook. And obviously, I am not going to uh, win the bike. But I just want to show you what this looks like. Info, we're, we're not going to win the bike ourselves. Enter, boom, done. Now, once you've done that, ta-da, congratulations, you're in. Wasn't that easy? So you say you want more points. You want to increase your chances of winning. You can share on Twitter. You can share on Facebook. You can share on Facebook Messenger. You can share via email. You can opt in for text messaging info and alerts. That is, look at that. These are only, well, technically they're plus three points, but it gives you a special link. So every person that uses your link gives you another three points. So it's kind of unlimited how many points you could earn that way. But text messaging, right there, 15 extra points on the entry. If you're not subscribed, eight points. Subscribe. Make sure to do that if you haven't already. And you can do, you know, subscribe to the podcast. Uh, like us on Facebook, a bunch of stuff you can do to earn more points for entry. But this is a new one to opt in for text messaging. We're trying to find a way to increase our mute communication even more. Uh, basically make it so you can get information faster. And this is a work in progress. So don't hold me to anything that I'm about to say. Sorry, Jessica, if I say anything I shouldn't have. But we are basically trying to do things like when you get an order, uh, you can sign it so you can get a text notification when your bike is shipped or delivered on top of the email notifications. And you can get notifications by text message when your bike that you're waiting for is back in stock. And this is just to make, again, make things easier to get communication in your hand where it's a little bit easier to contact you. And uh, this will be set up uh, if it's not already, so that if you get one of these automated text messages uh, from us, if you reply to that with a question, that actually goes into our support system along with all of our emails and everything else, and we can respond and actually respond to your questions via text as well. So if you get your bike and you're like, oh, hey, I have a quick question about this on my bike, you can send us a text message uh, if that's an easier way for you than going to your computer and firing up your email or something, uh, or even doing an email from your phone, and we can respond. That response will go right back as a text message. So uh, something new that we're working on, and uh, we're gonna test it out for a little bit and see how well that works, and hopefully that is something that's helpful for all of you. <laughs> says, uh, Somebody, well, I don't know how to pronounce your username, JBW Jr. I'm guessing that's your first, middle, or 54. 
workload just increased. Uh, we have uh, quite a few people working here and uh, hopefully this just helps you guys and doesn't increase our workload but makes everybody's job easier. Uh, Dana, thanks for your comment. Thank you for your review on the Arizona Loop. Like to write it. If you guys haven't seen that video, uh, it has been performing rather well. <laughs> uh, we just released that yesterday about the Loop, a big trail in Arizona that's awesome, but they currently technically don't allow e-bikes and we want to change that. So go check that out uh, after watching the live video uh, right here. Uh, we can add a link to the description or just, again, go to the channel watch the most recent video, it's right there. Uh, and thank you for all the feedback we've been getting on that video, it's been, uh, it's been awesome. Uh, I think the county of Pima, Arizona, where that is going on, uh, may not be happy with their email inbox this morning. <laughs> That's okay, That's what we gotta do to make things happen. Uh, thanks again to Derwin for providing the bike. Go enter to win it. And congratulations to whoever does. Also, congratulations to whoever is going to win the Snap Cycle bike today. And uh, yeah, awesome. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Share the win thing because, you know, you want to win, you want your friends to win. It all goes around. I will see you guys next week. We will have more videos. Obviously, we've been trying to put out more videos lately just because. And. You might see another one next Thursday. Well, you'll definitely see another one next Thursday. You'll probably, hopefully, see us even sooner than that. Thanks again. Ending the broadcast. We'll talk to all of you guys later, maybe even by text message.